Hey everyone, I'm Vanessa Deal. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am super excited to share with you some of the many ways that we use essential oils in our home. So I am Vanessa Deal. I've been using essential oils um, like every month on essential rewards for I don't know, over three years and it's been awesome. Um, I was actually first introduced to Young Living about 13 years ago. Um, my husband's friend uh, came over and she said, hey Vanessa, uh, check out these amazing things and uh, these amazing oils. And I said, okay, cool. So I got some oils. And back then, I just found this today. This is what the starter kit looked like back then. And you got a couple of oils and um, it was great. And then, um, I ran into a good friend of mine, Heather, um, when I met her about three years ago and she said, hey Vanessa, I'm having this oil session at my house, come on over. And I said, yeah, awesome. I uh, just I had a baby and I was pregnant and I thought, you know what, I need a night out. I need to get out of my house and I love Young Living Oils, so I'll come check it out. So I did. And man, did that change my life. Um, we were able to incorporate essential oils into our homes and substitute out so many things in our medicine cabinet. And um, wow, it's just been an incredible journey um, because of that. And just being able to incorporate so many things, do special like DIYs, really simplify our life in so many ways. To have a you know some oils um, on hand, you can see my oil rack back there. Um, you don't need that many oils to get started. Young Living has done a fantastic job of setting up a starter kit, which we're gonna dive into a little bit today. And, um, but, but we've been able to substitute out things in our medicine cabinet. We've been able to uh, create all kinds of DIYs and really simplify our life. And best of all, remove all the toxic yuck from our, our home, right? Support ourselves, support our families in the best possible way. Hey there, Bobby. Um, if you are uh, checking this out live, please comment, say hello, say where you're from, um, and uh, I hope you really enjoy this. This is gonna be awesome. This class is going to be super packed with information. So I like to talk fast, so this is like my thing. I'm gonna be just spewing off information. If you feel like you um, are having a hard time just keeping track and all that stuff, no worries. Afterwards, email me, send me a message in Messenger with your email. I'm Vanessa Deal. You can get me at Wellness Van. I have a page there or on Instagram, well, at wellness.van. Um, send me a DM, send me a PM, send me a message. Um, I will get you the PDF from this class tonight because like I said, I, I don't wanna take up a lot of your time, like 30 minutes, and I'm gonna give you like 101 ways to use essential oils, okay? So um, send me a message. All right, here we go, guys. It's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get fast. If you um, are an avid essential oil user, please comment below. Tell me how you use these oils um, so that maybe some of the new people that maybe they just got a starter kit or maybe you have no idea <laughs> what these crazy oils are and somebody said, hey, check out this video um, tonight or on the replay and, um, and you're thinking like, what is going on? That's cool too, like let us know. But for those of you that know um, and have been around for a little while, please share your tips, um, your favorite DIYs, put them in the comments below. Um, I will go through afterwards when I'm done and um, respond to all the comments. My phone's kind of goofy, my internet can be kind of goofy, so I don't always see all the comments and all the good stuff. So, okay, who is familiar with the Young Living Starter Kit? This is how I got started three years and a little bit ago when my friend Heather said, hey, come check out um, my class. At that time, I truly, I only wanted abundance oil and I had a couple others from back when I had, you know, picked up this starter kit 14 years ago, 13 years ago. And, um, you know, that was really my intention. But after hearing Heather tell me about the value that's in this kit, I thought, you know what, what the heck? I was looking for some alternatives. I picked this up as my first order on ER. And I have to say, ER, if you're not familiar, is Essential Rewards. It is hands down the best value. Um, you're gonna get points back, you're gonna get free oils. I mean, who doesn't like free stuff, right? And um, you're gonna be a part of this amazing community. Well, whether you're on Essential Rewards or not, you get to be a part of this amazing oily community. Um, but Essential Rewards, literally from the day, first day I set up my on, my um, my account, uh, I've been on Essential Rewards. Um, 
and I have not looked back. So um, 30 something, 36, 38 months ago. Um, okay, so I got this starter kit and this starter kit, if you're not familiar, it comes with, um, it comes in a box like this and then it comes in a, with a diffuser, maybe the desert mist diffuser like this, or maybe you got the uh, dew drop diffuser. So in Canada, we, right now we have two options. And the cool thing about Young Living is you can get started um, with, in Canada with, there's now four oils, um, sorry, four starter kits. There are two types of oils kits. There's this one, kind of your everyday um, starter kit. And then there's a little oilers kit, which is so cute. It is owl diffuser and some oils for the little ones. Um, super amazing. We love the owl diffuser. We use that in my kids' bedrooms every night. And uh, there's a Ningxia starter kit. We love Ningxia. I'm going to chat about that in a second. And um, the other one is the Thieves Cleaning Line starter kit. So if you're looking to ditch those toxic chemicals, all those things in your home, um, that might be the best place to start. But today, chatting about essential oils. So you get your starter kit, um, you open it up. Okay, first I'm gonna start at the bottom of the kit because I have had a couple of people get a starter kit and literally uh, they, they message me and say, Vanessa, where's all this other stuff you're talking about? Like all I got were these oils and you'll notice one's missing. That's because my little bottle of frankincense. Um, frankincense in our home, That'll be a story for later. It, we go through frankincense like crazy. My husband literally will not share his frankincense with me. And I have to make sure that we always have a couple of big bottles on hand because he, he literally does not share it with me. And I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, so once you get your starter kit, you lift up this panel, right? Lift it up. And then at the very bottom, you're gonna have a bunch of these goodies, okay? Now, normally there's also Ningxia Red. You're gonna get two Ningxia Red packets in there. But my kids have literally consumed all of the Ningxia in the packets in our house. Um, we, I always stock up on the bottles. I like to keep these in the fridge. And then um, we just pour them in our glass. So when you get your starter kit, you get two packs of each pack has um, two ounces of Ningxia Red in each pack. And um, they just come in really a handy travel pack. So I do like to keep those in the car. And we like to keep those in the fridge. And um, my kids also, like I said, they raid my stuff. So Ningxia Red is, it has all of your amino acids. It has um, goji berry, which is an incredible berry. It has um, juices and purees like uh, cherry juice and pomegranate and all these great goodness, whole food things, plus essential oils, so that our body absorbs it super well and this stuff for me has targeted my gut health um i have cleared up parts of my skin i used to have really bad milia use the uh, ningxia red um it helps us uh keeps us regular it helps us with our brain with our mood with our energy uh we love 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 ningxia red and i order this on essential rewards now almost every single month i love ningxia red in our home uh, my kids love it and drink it and i love when they drink it <laughs> super good um okay so if you're interested in more about nature red uh comment below i can get uh, maybe some more information to you that kind of stuff so you're gonna find two of those in the starter kit also in the bottom of your starter kit you're gonna find a thieves hand sanitizer so thieves of course um we'll chat about the the thieves word in a little bit um but hand sanitizer we all know we're living in a pandemic right who doesn't need hand sanitizer? Right now, the big bottles of this are in stock. You can get two per customer per month right now. Um, I have been stocking up every order I put in, I'm ordering the big bottles. And then we just refill the small bottles. This stuff lasts a long time. It is not alcohol like smelling and all like, you know, evaporates immediately and dries out your skin. It's nourishing, it smells great, and it is now an approved hand sanitizer by Health Canada. So, uh, amazing don't leave home without it obviously it's <laughs> so good okay so the satin hand sanitizer comes in the bottom in Canada you're gonna get an 11th oil that oil is the northern lights black spruce northern lights black spruce is super manly so if you it's manly because it's a spruce right it smells like the forest um, in, in Christmas time we like to sprinkle our, our uh, like Christmas tree we have an artificial tree lately um, sprinkle that I also love to put this in um, sometimes we'll do uh, in our hand soap my husband loves it adds it to some Moroccan oil or whatnot and it's great for skin really nourishing um, but very manly smelling so love this also a lot of people find that it can be very relaxing and it can help um, kind of with that those anxious feelings and some people like it for sleep so maybe it's something you want to pop in your diffuser 
Okay, I'm gonna show you how to fill up your diffuser in just a minute as well. Um, but I just wanna show you the bottom of the kit. So in Canada, you get that, plus you get these really cool little vials. These are great for traveling, for carrying in your purse. You can mix little blends. Um, um, maybe you want to put like an ouchy kind of blend in there, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, after bite, right? It's summertime, bugs everywhere. Oh, the aphids out in our place are just, or those little like gnat things. I don't know. They're terrible. I get bitten all the time. Um, uh, yeah, so put those in there or, um, you know, a couple other things. So just know those are in there. Also, I find these are fantastic to help. Like if somebody comes over, if I'm going over to somebody's house, I will take, um, some empty vials and like, I usually have some bottles, but I'll be able to fill it up and then just leave it as like a little thank you or a sample. Or if I know somebody has an ailment, maybe they are um, really, you know, struggling with sleep, I will put um, some oils in one of these and then give it to them, right? Then they can try these oils out for themselves. When people try out the oils, they, you know, usually feel a difference, right? They, they notice that difference and then they want to get these oils for themselves. Okay, at the bottom two, this is really cool. Um, you get one of these roller heads and these roller heads will snap just directly onto any bottle, whether it's the five mil bottles. So the five mil bottles come in the starter kit or the frankincense, uh, or sorry, a 15 mil bottle like this frankincense. So all you do is you can, um, take off the top of this like that. And then you just snap this in like that. Oh, there we go. And then you can just roll your oils on wherever you need. Now, in a second, we're going to talk about diluting your oils. Some you can use straight up. Some you're going to want to add maybe a carrier oil um, to, and we'll get to that in just a second. So um, that is the bottom of the starter kit. If you are new to getting a starter kit, look in the bottom. If you're in the U.S., you have a couple of different um, goodies in the bottom. And uh, starter kit's the way to go, right? So what Young Living did was they packaged the starter kit to be something that um, are kind of like our everyday oils. And it wasn't until, um, like when I first got my, my starter kit, I was diffusing, I diffused a lot. I felt really comfortable with that. Um, we liked the smells and all that. As I got more comfortable putting my oils on my body, I realized exactly why these 11 oils went into this starter kit. All right, so really quick crash course. Um, I do have to say that I am, you know, not a doctor. I can't diagnose, treat, yada, 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 all those things. Um, I'm just a person loving my oils, using my oils, and referring to reference guides. So um, you may have a little pocket guide like this. These are super handy. Lots of great information on there. Um, hi, Heather, Jessica, Kelly. So exciting. Those are the only names I can see. Hi to all the others out there too. Um, gentle babies if you are pregnant if you have a little one a newborn or a little kids i highly recommend this book this book has gotten me through many 2 a.m oh my gosh what the heck is happening um ailments in our home so get that um there's also bigger guides like this so a great reference guide will give you um solutions for all kinds of different ailments um or tips and tricks on how to use your oils Okay, so guys, it's gonna get really fast. Remember, if you want the PDF of this, of the recipes I'm gonna talk about, please uh, send me a message. Messenger, email me, uh, wellnessfan at gmail.com. Reach out to the person that may have invited you to this class. We wanna get you that PDF. You want all these recipes, okay? These are only some of the ways to use these oils. So of the like 100 things I'm gonna tell you right now, these are just some of the ways. Okay, so first way to use your oils, if you have a diffuser, um, you open it up, um, you put some oils in. So let's uh, chat thieves for a quick second. Okay, so I put about three or four drops of thieves oil. So I just put the thieves oil directly in there. Oh, yeah, thieves. Sorry, I thought I said die tries. Thieves. Um, thieves is great for immunity, right? Um, for killing germs in the air, those kinds of things. Uh, so really important, we diffuse a lot of thieves in our home. So I put thieves in the bottom first, and then I'm gonna just put some water in just like that. I'm gonna put it back together. You can put different oils. So if you want some, maybe you're going to sleep, maybe you want some lavender, maybe you wanna try some of that Northern Lights Black Spruce and you wanna mix them together, go ahead, right? If it's in your bedroom, you know, start low and uh, go slow, start low, go slow. Put a couple of drops, see how strong it is for you. We all react differently, right? And we're all used to different things. So just put a couple of drops. This stuff is super, super, super potent. And if you want more information on 
why these oils are so potent, why they are the best quality. Um, there's a thing called seed to seal and you can read up on all of that and uh, super cool. The processes are amazing. Like Young Living hire or they ha like hire people to hand pick all the weeds instead of using chemicals and they hire, well, I don't know if they hire, but they have a bunch of goats, for example, to eat the weeds instead of using any chemicals it is amazing. Anyway, so you can mix these oils in your diffuser. Um, you can mix blends if you want. You can mix the single oils, like a lemon would be a single and a blend would be Thieves. So Thieves has five oils in it. Lemon, eucalyptus, rosemary, clove, and cinnamon bark. And that's what makes up the Thieves. So um, you can put those in your diffuser, plug it in, it'll diffuse. Um, the different diffusers run for different times um, and some have lots of light functions. Some like the Dewdrop just has a blue um, off function kind of thing. Whatever you choose, they are all fantastic. And um, the great thing about Young Living's is that they ionize and they break apart all of those oils um, and disperse them really well. So that is how you diffuse. Uh, we run diffusers in our living room uh, or like our main area, kitchen area here. We have diffusers in each of our bedrooms. We're 700 square feet here and we run three diffusers. So um, just like the two at the night and the bedtime and then the one in the main area. So. Um, Love diffusers. And I don't know if you saw those new ones from convention. Who is excited about those glass? Lucia and maybe somebody can else put the yeah, other name down there. They look beautiful, hey? Okay, so diffusing your oils. The next way that I love to use my oils is putting them on jewelry. Do you like my earrings? These are made by a lovely um, company uh, down south in Southern Alberta. So actually you can put your oils right on these. I'm gonna put a little bit of, well, frankincense. What the heck, right? Here's, I have two bottles of frankincense here. So I'm just gonna put some frankincense on my earrings. Frankincense is so good for anxiety, for stress, for oxygenating your brain, for waking yourself up in the morning. My husband uses um, frankincense for wrinkles and I have been noticing, I've been blotting it on my face as well and wow, it's making a great difference. Um, really, really love that. So you can use your oils on your jewelry. Um, there's also these beautiful diffuser bracelets, right? The lava beads, um, put some oils on there and you're smelling all day. Plus what's cool about that is then you're getting them on your wrist, on your Vitaflex points. Um, love, love, love that. So when you're using your essential oils, um, topically like on your skin, you want to be able to, you want to make sure that if the oil is like a spicy oil or, um, maybe a citrus oil, uh, you want to dilute it. So you want to use something like either a coconut oil or you want to use something. Young Living has this awesome V6 blend. So you can mix them together first and then apply them topically. So one way that I apply my oils, for example, let's say it's bedtime and I'm going to use lavender oil. I'm going to put a drop in my hand like this and then uh, I'm going to put some carrier oil in my hand like this. And then I'm going to, well, I rub it on my feet or rub it on my spine. I'm going to do that right now. Hopefully it doesn't put me to bed. Um, and I'll rub it on my back. Oh, you know what? Lavender as a, like a massage on sore muscles at the end of the night, or if you have a cold or if you have aches or pains due to, I find, especially due to um, like some kind of sickness, like a cold flu, whatever, feels incredible. And if you have kids, you don't want to be without lavender ever because <laughs> to bring them down a notch when they are like stressed out or they need some relaxation, um, when they have a fever or, um, and that goes for adults too. Uh, lavender can be incredible. So great for sleep and oh, I feel actually so much more relaxed just having done that. So um, you can put your oils on topically. The other way that I love to put my oils on is with a roller. So I'm sure, you know, we've seen a lot of people, this one says focus. Um, so you can order rollers like this. This is a 10 mil roller. You can get these off of Amazon. They work out to about a dollar each, super cheap. And then all you do is you open it up, put your oils in, um, you know, maybe 10 to 15 drops of whatever oil you can mix and match in here. And again, in the PDF, I have a bunch of different recipes for you. Um, so you just put your oils in here, top it up with a carrier, like a liquid coconut oil or a V6 and roll it on. Easy, easy peasy, good to go. Um, so that is how you put on your oils topically. The third way that you can use these oils is to ingest them. And so I love, and just to note actually, because there are some companies out there that claim that you can eat them, but these ones are actually approved by the FDA and by Health Canada 
for internal consumption. So that's really cool. So here, I wanted to show you, you can buy, this one has a white label. So white label means that um, it is approved by, in this case, Health Canada. These are called plus oils. In the US, they are a white label as well. They're called vitality oils. So if you see there's a lemon in the starter kit, um, it is exactly the same inside exactly the same um, oil. So uh, lemon is approved by Health Canada. So I'm gonna put a drop into my water like that. Sorry, this bottle's almost empty. And uh, I'm gonna add some carbonated water. So cheers guys. This is one of my favorite drinks to get me through my day. Lemon and carbonated water. If you're looking for more um, kind of mocktails and cocktail recipes, uh, recently I made this awesome kind of daiquiris. In the blender I put frozen strawberries and um, some lime essential oil. Oh, it was so good. Uh, put a little rum in there, put it in the blender, and some ice, and wow, so delicious. You can make so many drinks with um, your essential oils like that. So cool. Um, okay. Now you can ingest them and then check, yeah, check out that Young Living blog because there are so many great um, recipes, tips and tricks on that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna blast through all these essential oils. It's summertime. I know that you probably need a solution for bugs, right? There are so many bugs everywhere. So we're, I'm gonna chat with you about how to make a bug spray. Really quickly, what I do, it takes me seconds. I grab a spray bottle, I just open it up from that, in the kit, there is an oil called purification. So purification oil, I will put maybe 10 or 15 drops into my bottle, purification. It does exactly that. Um, you can use it in your home. Uh, purification is great for laundry, for uh, roll, dryer balls, uh, in stinky shoes. You can make it into a room spray. Um, you can spray your gym bag. You can use this in face, um, like as a face moisturizer, really good for skin. I also use this sometimes in my foaming hand soap that I make. Purification has 101 uses as well. Um, oh, and carpet cleaner actually as well. So I'll talk about that in a second. But um, purification is wonderful. I put, like I said, 10, 15 drops, boom, into the spray bottle. I will also put some lavender. I find that works very well. So maybe 10 drops of lavender into the spray bottle. Put that into there. Um, I citronella is the only oil that i would put into here that doesn't come in the starter kit and um you can get you could just tap it onto your order right you add in a bottle of citronella so i'll put about 15 drops of citronella and um if i have lemongrass on hand i might throw in some of that maybe not then i'm going to add some witch hazel if you're not familiar with witch hazel you can get this at the grocery store or at the usually at um like a health food store kind of place. Um, just add in, I do half witch hazel, and then I top the bottle with water. Give it a good shake, spray, spray, spray. That's our bug spray. I use that for my kids. Um, my husband and I use that on us as well. And this year I find there's some bugs that are at a different time of the day. Um, some people are really into using the thieves oil for mosquito repellent. It does work quite well actually because it has a rosemary in there, eucalyptus. Um, so you can try using Thieves. It's also going to boost your immunity, which is probably not the end of the world um, during a pandemic. <laughs> um, so Thieves can work really well also. And I find Cedarwood really nice lately. Uh, Cedarwood is another oil that you may want to consider picking up because it is great to pair with lavender for sleep or to, um, I put it on the bottom of my feet. It actually helps your body release melatonin so that you um, get a better sleep, right? Who doesn't need a better night's sleep? When we sleep, our body heals, um, we feel rested and we can, of course, function better, right? So, um, so anyway, those are the things for bug sprays. Again, I have this in the PDF and I would love to share that with you. So bug spray, super awesome. Now, if you get bitten, like the other day, those crazy whatever things bit me a hundred million times on my feet, I just use purification straight up on my skin. Super gentle. I've used purification straight up on my two-year-old. She had hand, foot, and mouth disease. I didn't know, but I read about it in the Gentle Babies book when she was freaking out at two o'clock in the morning. Um, and it said put purification on straight up. I did that and she stopped screaming. Like within two minutes and we were able to collect ourselves and uh realize that she had had foot and mouth disease and then between purification and alternating with thieves um and some lavender oil we were able to um almost completely cure like heal the wounds of the sores that she had on her mouth her hands and her feet um within about 12 hours so purification is amazing and we never go without you can buy the big bottles now too it's back in stock 
highly recommend purification. Anyway, if you have a bug bite or mosquito bite, whatever, put it directly on. It reduces the swelling. I've seen some great photos lately on um, social media, but it also reduces that itch. So purification, love it. Um, you can also make a spray. This will be in that PDF. You can, or like a, whether it's with a coconut oil or a spray, after bite um, spray. There's also, it's summertime, so I do need to mention some of these oils are not ideal in the direct sun. So they're called photosensitive oils. Some oils that are photosensitive are things like lemon. So often, your, well, always, your citrus oils are photosensitive. There's a couple other ones like Angelica, I believe. Um, a, a good reference guide um, or a quick Google search would help you out with that. So that just means don't put the oil directly on your skin and then go out into the sun, right? So often um, some of those oils will say photosensitive. Don't, uh, you know, avoid direct sunlight for 12 hours or whatnot. Um, so just be warned. If you are making your own perfumes, if you're making your own roll-ons or your own body sprays or what have you, um, think about the season. Of course, in the winter, you, you know, we're still out in the sun. Let's say you go skiing or something. Same thing, right? If you're putting lemon straight up on your face and then you're going out skiing, the sun, you know, same effect, right? Um, so be careful. Okay, if you are out and you get a sunburn, I do want to say that Jim Living has a fantastic, uh, where did it go? Um, sunscreen, my husband just walked in the door. Hello, Trent. I was just talking about your wrinkles. You can come say hi. <laughs> He's, uh, was just mowing the lawn. Okay, so um, put on your sunscreen. Um, they have the SPF of 50, really great. If you um, end up getting a little too much sun, one of the best things that you can do is put up some lavender and coconut, I find super wonderful, um, on your skin. And um, super distracting. Who's distracted by this guy? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> put uh, some lavender on your skin. Also, uh, you can make a spray, like an after sun spray. So that will be in the PDF. You use some aloe vera. You can put some lavender. You can put some cobaheba. Cobaheba. Oh, man, I never say that right. I'm sorry. Um, this one, I'll chat about that in a second. Um, you can put some peppermint, right? Cool off that sunburn. Just a couple drops of peppermint. And you have yourself a wonderful after sun spray. Okay, so you're out in the sun. And there you go. Okay, let's chat a little bit about immunity. We all need some of that. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we do um, coconut oil, a little bit of coconut oil, a drop of thieves on the bottom of our feet. That works wonderfully. We can diffuse this in the air. Thieves Vitality in the US is approved for internal consumption. So a drop of thieves with some honey and some tea is super good. Um, I also, in the fall, make um, apple cider. Like, you know, you boil the apples and whatever. And put a cup, like one or two drops, that's all you need in like a big pot. And it gives the best flavors because of course there's cinnamon and clove in there. It's delicious. And it's immune boosting. <laughs> Bye, darling. <laughs> he was just mowing the lawn. Okay, so um, Thieves is wonderful. And um, we can use Thieves to clean our home as well. I use it to make a carpet um, refresh. So I just use some baking soda. And I throw in a couple, uh, maybe 10 drops of thieves, 10 drops of purification, um, baking soda, give it a shake, sprinkle it on my carpets, let it sit for 15 minutes, vacuum it up, and it really deodorizes and kills those germs, and it's fantastic. So we used to have a dog, and of course we have two little kids. Um, this place gets dirty really fast. Um, carpets get really, you know, musty, stinky. Love that. Um, thieves, I also love to make a foaming hand soap. So when um, you can get a, a foaming bottle like this, or if you order the Thieves, Young Living has the Thieves um, hand soap. This is the Christmas spirit one from the Christmas time. And then they have the lemon right now. But save your foaming hand pumps. pumps. You can order the refill of the, um, the hand soap. Who loves that stuff? I love it. And we use that often too. Um, but if you end up with a couple of extra bottles, just save them because you can make your own. And what I do is I use Castile soap, just a little bit. And then I'll add maybe 10 drops of thieves and then maybe like just like a one or two drops of vitamin E oil. And this is what my husband uses for his wrinkles. He'll do the frankincense and vitamin E oil morning and night. And uh, yeah, swears by it. So, and then you just top the rest with water, give it a shake, foaming hand soap. Who has little kids that love to wash their hands and use like a quarter of a bottle of soap every time they wash their hands? Yeah. And I refuse personally to use, well, I'm allergic to laurel sulfate, so I don't use any products with, with a foaming agent in it. Um, and so, and we just refuse to just bring in those toxins into our home. Um, so, and you know, like if you buy something like a other, 
you know, not like organic or nice, like, well, I don't know, nice is the wrong word. Anyway, other hand soaps on the market, they'll cost you like an arm or a leg, right? And you don't always get the best ingredients, so. Okay, Castile soap is amazing. Guys, this is something that I just learned, um, not in the starter kit, but I just popped it in my head. The shave, the Murat shave oil, Young Living has this shave oil, it's beautiful. Um, I love it, it is so moisturizing, and you just put it on your legs and shave your legs. You can make it into a foaming shave cream. All you do is add a little bit of Castile soap, then you add 10 pumps of the Murat shave oil, a little bit of vitamin E and top it with water, and it makes this foaming, luxurious shave cream. Oh my gosh, like, tell me that Gillette is not like the most toxic thing ever, right? Ugh. Anyway, okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So, <laughs> shave cream. Um, Castile soap, witch hazel, some, you know, V6 or coconut oil in your cabinet with some baking soda and you've got some incredible um, cleaning. So um, on the cleaning train as well, again, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Baking soda with some lemon oil is incredible to make a little scrub, right? Um, you can add a little vinegar to make it foaming. Um, we all love the, the Thieves Cleaner, right? Like the Thieves Cleaner is the bomb and you can definitely add that to this to make a scrub. Um, but if you're looking for just really, you know, you got the starter kit, you want to try using some lemon, amazing. Lemon is so good for that sticky residue that comes on the back of stickers. Um, you can get that, get it off um, on walls, like extra scuffy scuff marks and stuff like that. Lemon, let's chat about lemon for a minute. I'm going to throw a bunch of recipes at you. Lemon is so refreshing. Lemon, of course, is photosensitive, but in the fall, I find, or in the winter, um, if you have young kids sometimes, or even, I guess, during the pandemic, there are days when you don't get to leave the house. And I, lemon saved me. I would just put a drop on my hand, put it on my neck and along my spine in the back of my neck. And it is, smells so happy. It makes your, your mood feel better. I, I'm sure there's some people on here that can contest that, right? And um, it just, oh, it, it, it helped me through a tough time with my son where he wouldn't go for any car rides or anything. And we were locked in the house for weeks in the rain and lemon helped my mood and it also have helped a little bit of like those mummy emotions blues i guess um kind of things lemon is wonderful so wonderful if you read about lemon in a um, pocket guide reference there is a list like this long of what lemon is good for and what it can do so in our home we also diffuse it for congestion if you're feeling congested seasonal allergies oh you guys i forgot to tell you seasonal allergies this right here is gonna be what you need. Frankincense, lavender, peppermint, lemon. You can make it into a roller. You could diffuse these and it is going to help. I've had a lot of people tell me that uh, seasonal allergies, that helps lots with. So lemon is great for decongestion. If you have a cold, we put it with a carrier and run it along our spine. Um, it is also fantastic for skin um, to brighten your skin or to help remove um, residue from your hair. Um, Google those on Pinterest. I don't think I have that in the book, but I've been doing that lately. It's really great. Um, also making a sugar scrub. All you need to do to make like an absolutely divine sugar scrub that smells just like lemon pie is you take some sugar, you take some coconut to kind of make it wet enough add maybe five or 10 drops of lemon, add some pink Himalayan salt. It looks sexy, right? It's all pink and, and pretty. Give it a stir. And then in the shower, you can use that to exfoliate your body. It smells so good. There are no toxins. And can you talk about how cheap that is? Like how inexpensive is it to use sugar and salt, coconut oil, and then a couple of drops of lemon, right? Like amazing. There's no need to spend a ton of money on all these products that tend to have just garbage chemicals in them, right? So lemon is wonderful for that. Um, yeah, so cleaning and, oh, there's so many things, guys. The list escapes me. Um, but there's some more things in um, that PDF on lemon. So that's lemon, let's uh, move on. Okay, if you're looking for something that is going to decongest you, or maybe you got a snorer in your house. My husband was having these like bad nightmare snorey coffee choky things the other night, I don't know. Anyway, I just, while he was sleeping or like, snoring, choking. I uh, just put a little bit of RC in my hand. I put some coconut oil. I rubbed it on his chest. And my goodness, like within three or four minutes, 
he was breathing very well and sleeping soundly. So um, you can put that on your chest. I've also heard a drop on a big toe before bed um, can really help. So have you ever heard um, the old wives tale, I guess, about uh, putting Vicks on your feet? Well, the reason is on our feet, we have all these organs that are, you know, cor or areas on our feet that are correlated to organs in our body. So if you are feeling congested RC on the ball of your feet, the balls of your feet, or um, thieves, those can be really great for, um, for congestion. This is called respiratory care, I believe, respiratory congestion, RC. Um, so snoring, really great. Uh, RC has a really bright smell. It has eucalyptus in it. It can be very good for cough and cold, and it's kind of like your natural VIX. So um, think about natural VIX. Digest. Let's talk about Pepto-Bismol. This is an incredible substitute for Pepto-Bismol. So what are the things like indigestion, constipation, diarrhea, yada, yada, whatever that song is. Um, this is so great. So what we do for my daughter, she's five. She has gluten, uh, dairy intolerance. So sometimes she eats something by accident. Um, or for myself, if I'm feeling, I don't know, bummed up or whatever. Um, maybe I ate too much food. Uh, I'll put a couple drops in my hand, one or two drops, add with some coconut oil. On oh, my daughter, I'll give her a tummy massage. If you guys don't know the I love you pattern, um, just Google that on YouTube. It's so good for when my son was a baby too. I diluted this um, even more when he was an infant to help with that kind of colicky gas. Um, do the I love you. I and then it's uh, L twice and then a U um, to help with the intestinal tract. So giving a massage with this is so, so good. Um, you may not want to diffuse this. Um, some people love the smell. Some people, not so, not, they don't love it so much. Um, so if you don't feel like diffusing digest, yeah, don't do it. Okay, let's talk about muscles really quickly. Um, Panway is, uh, oh, look, I like handed it to you so you could smell it. Can you guys smell it? <laughs> um, okay, Panway is great for sore muscles. So you put a drop or two in your hand, you put in some carrier oil, and you give yourself a fantastic massage. This oil can be great for um, arthritis, for sore muscles. If you've been carrying your kids around all day or trying to keep up with them as they're bike riding down the street and you're running all day and your feet are sore, give yourself a nice foot massage with the Panaway. It feels so good. It has wintergreen in there and um, there's uh, some reparative tissue oils in there as well. Oh, it feels so good to have a massage with it. Um, maybe you've been uh, spending extra time at your desk typing. Maybe you're stuck at home working. Give yourself, you know, the good arm massage with the pan away, right? It can really help those sore muscles, right? Give yourself a good stretch, those kinds of things. Um, some people don't like to diffuse pan away, not because it doesn't smell great, but because it is one of the more expensive I guess, or costly oils. There's helichrysalum in here and um, some other great oils. So just know that when you get the starter kit, the starter kit um, is $199 Canadian plus uh, GST and shipping and whatever other provincial taxes. Um, in, and it is the best deal because you're gonna get that diffuser, right? Plus the 11 oils and all the goodies. But just know that when you purchase um, the starter kit, the five mil bottle of frankincense, the five mil bottle of Panaway, Together, like this is 42 or $46. The small frankincense is in that $40 range as well. So that's like $82 right there for the five mil bottles. Um, and then, you know, you add on the diffuser, that's 80 bucks. That's 160 bucks right there for two oils and the diffuser. So getting your hands on the starter kit is, that's why most people start with the starter kit. And Young Living has just done this incredible job of packaging it all together for all of these everyday things, right? I also want to say, if you have a Young Living account already and you know somebody, like you have a friend who, you know, may come over and see your oil stash like this, or you're out and about, you know, in the grocery store and somebody's like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. What is that? And oh, well, you're rocking your thieves hand sanitizer, right? You're using that. Or you've got your, I don't know, um, frankincense on because you know going out into the public stresses you out um you can definitely just say hey yeah um you know a wholesale account is free and um you can help others get started with young living it is that simple it's just using your member id number and the enroller and the sponsor and then they get all the same benefits and access to all of these great things plus this wonderful community that we have so i just wanted to say that um okay so Panaway is wonderful for those sore muscles. You can mix it with Copaheba, which is like your boost. It's like your BAM oil. It, it pumps up that, um, 
the potent, like that potency, like that, it really is fantastic. Cobabe is also great for congestion. Um, it's phenomenal for skin. So let's, let's just take a minute and talk about skin. I meant to set my timer guys. What time is it? Okay, cool. I'm just a couple minutes over. Bear with me. Um, so with, um, I make my own face serum. Now the blue, okay, I love the art line. If you're, you know, cleansing your face, uh, the art cleanser, the art toner, and the, um, there's art serum and the light moisturizer. Love that lineup. Young Living just came out with the um, Bloom, hey Candace, with the Bloom line. And I am so stoked about that. That is for hypoallergenic skin. That is 30 plus, and I guess, well, I'm in that category. But um, I'm super excited for it. So I've been making myself a face serum. Now you know that when you buy like a really high end serum, you know two things. One, it's gonna cost you probably a pretty penny, right? The second thing it probably will have are some toxic ingredients that uh, you probably don't want to be putting on your face. Um, so I do encourage you always to read the labels of your um, your products. But what I do is I just get Moroccan oil for me. It works great. It's my jam. Um, for my husband, he is all about his vitamin E oil and frankincense. Keeps it simple, right? Sometimes I use Northern Lights Black Spruce. And you know what? Sometimes that guy, he steals my art renewal serum. So right now it's out of stock and I don't get to use it because he used all my stuff. Anyway, I'm just ranting but uh, okay so what I do is I take my Moroccan oil and then I'm gonna put maybe five drops of frankincense I'm gonna put five drops of copaheba I'm gonna put five drops of lavender maybe even a little bit more depending on my mood from the starter kit that in itself makes an incredibly luxurious reparative nourishing um, uh, skin serum Okay, so fantastic. You can also take it one step further and grab some oils that might be good for your skin type, like uh, geranium maybe, or some people really love sandalwood. Um, you know, you can look look or reach out to me and I can give you some suggestions based on your skin type, for example. Um, but you can save yourself a ton of money. Like if you're only using five drops of this and then you have 30 mils of Moroccan oil, like that'll take me at least a month and a half to go through, right? So we're saving so much money by just getting our hands on these oils to start with and then being able to use them for so many different things. I know like sometimes when I open my, well in the past especially, I'd open my cupboard and there would be like 30 or 40 un half used products under there that I've never touched or didn't like the product very much or, you know, I thought I needed it for this, like, you know, for the, um, stainless steel and then you need this for cleaning your toilet and you need this for cleaning your stove and you need this for this, whatever. We can simplify all of this by just getting the, the kit, for example, and like some thieves cleaner, right? You can simplify so many products and, you know, be able to use those cleaners and um, the best cleaners, really, and then create your own skincare. Another great tip is put a couple drops of lavender into your mascara. It is going to help with the bacteria growth. It smells great. It actually helps with the um, with your lashes as well. Um, and what else can I say? Okay, we got all of that. Let me just make sure I haven't missed anything, guys. I know that we are... I said 30 minutes. I like to talk. Okay, food. You can bake. You can make um, with the oils. Um, one of my favorite things to do is make like a salad dressing with the oils. Um, check out the Young Living blog. They have some great things there. Um, Heather, I know you make this like cheese ball that I love. Uh, so good. Like black pepper oil. I think you put oregano in there. Basil. Oh my God. So good. Um, okay, roller blends. Guys, if you message me, I have a ton of roller blends to, to send to you. I have um, some body spray tips. So with the body spray, all you would do is put maybe like 10 or 20 drops of your favorite oils in here. Top it or add some witch hazel or some vodka. Yes, that's right. Vodka. Um, give it a good shake. Top with water. Boom. Room spray. When I buy these at the markets, I used to buy these at markets. I'd pay like 10 to $20 and you can save so much money. So make a bathroom spray, a room spray, a body spray, what have you, you get to customize with your favorite scents that way, and you save yourself a ton of money. And it's way better for the environment, right? Think of all that packaging. Oh my gosh, is glass recyclable where you're at? It's not here anymore, and it drives me completely mental. It is terrible, anyway. Um, okay, so yeah, after sun spray, all those good things in this PDF. Um, if you know, instead of those like poopery or whatever, you can just, what I've been doing is I have a dropper bottle like this. I'll put eucalyptus, peppermint, maybe some lavender, orange or something in it. I'll just keep this in my bathroom. And I find just putting one drop in the toilet will 
<sighs> makes it smell so good. So easy. So easy. Um, I also like to actually do that on the side of my shower when I'm having a shower in the morning. Um, I'll put uh, one or two drops in the shower. So as the steam draws that scent out, it's like the most luxurious spa ever. It's fantastic. I love it. Okay. Um, face serum. You can make a face spray. My favorite face spray is in here. It's also great for a makeup setter. Um, super easy. Just the oils in the kit. Uh, laundry scent booster. You can uh, put oils in with some Epsom salts and some baking soda um, to boost the scent of your laundry. Um, what else do we talk about? Dry shampoo. Make your own dry shampoo. Super simple. I have the recipe for that too. Um, the sugar scrub. And there are so many more things. I think I covered the 11 oils in the kit. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know. Where are you guys at? You guys good? <laughs> is that awesome? Um, so my point with this whole video is really to show you that there are so many ways to use your oils. Um, oh, one thing I have to say is if you have a car freshener that you bought from the gas station in your car, please do me a favor, please please throw it in the garbage. Those things are so toxic. My husband had one like a year ago in his vehicle and um, my kids and I, we were getting so sick 10 minutes into the drive that he had to like toss it and then we had to drive in the middle of winter with the windows down. Those, they're so toxic. Look it up. All you need to do is um, either some people put cotton balls and then put their essential oils in their vehicle on the cotton balls or you can um, just get one of those car vent diffusers. Young Loving has a really cool one. It's like 20 bucks. Car vent diffuser, put your oils, boom. I've heard Wintergreen, which is actually the 100 PV ER promo for June. Um, Wintergreen in your car smells fantastic. Do not put Rutavella, this is my personal opinion, don't put Rutavella in a diffuser in your car because you'll fall asleep. Rutavella puts me to bed instantaneously. I did that once and it was so hard to drive home, you guys, and it was like two o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway, I am Vanessa Deal. I hope you guys had a blast with some of my recipes. I truly have so many more. Um, I, of course, I'm a, a young living enthusiast. I love only the best for my family. And um, I hope that you found value in this. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Oh, there's a mosquito. Um, reach out to me, uh, Wellness Van on Instagram, Wellness Van or Vanessa Deal on Facebook. I'm gonna try to load this up to YouTube so you can share it with your friends. And um, yeah, I hope you are all having just the best day. To all of you teachers, I give you like a serious applause. I know today is like, actually today's my mom's last day. She retired this year. Um, she called me, it's her last day. And man, you teachers, you have really, and, and so many of you out there, um, healthcare workers, everybody really, even you know the moms at home with their kids, teaching their kids the whole nine years, but just um, great, great job to all of you actually. <laughs> Put your oils on, you deserve it. Okay, have a fantastic day, you guys. Cheers.